Fantastic. It's the 10th of February, Gurudev's evening class on Pure Bhakti webcast. Ay Bhutale Shishmad Bhakti Pragyan Keshavatyanami Ati Marta Charitraya Swasitanan Chapalini Jeeva Dukhe Sadartai Nama Prima Pradai Namong Vishnu Pras Krishna Pristay Bhutale Shishmat Bhakti Siddhant Sarswati Tinagni Shri Vashabhanavi Devi Daitaya Kripabdhai Krishna Sambandha Vikhyana Daini Madhurja Jala Primad Shri Rupanuga Bhakti Da Shri Gaur Karuna Shakti Vikrahaya Vancha Kalpataru Bhyasya Kripasindha Bhyayeva Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Mahabadanyaya Krishna Prima Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratrishe Nama Tomorrow, very auspicious day. The birth of Jagat Guru, Om Vishnu Parsi Smut Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada. And also, very auspicious day, in this auspicious day, Srila Gaur Gaurabindu Maharaj departed from this world. He was very fortunate to uh, to go from this world on this very day. You know all about Srila Prabhupada. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur and he is the root of preaching in Western countries. He inspired Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj to preach in English language and Western devotees in whole world in English and to establish centers and to translate authentic books like Srimad Bhagavat, Chaitanya, Chaitamrita and others. He was very qualified. So Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati knew that he can do, fulfill my desire. So one of his arms, that is Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, he sent to Western country and knew that how in couple of years he everywhere preached, established preaching centers and how he distributed books and engaged all, hmm? about millions of devotees in his mission, all were inspired. All used to know that, oh, the, our Gurudev oh, loves me more much than anyone. Hmm? His preaching and his all qualities are the, really coming from Srila Bhakti, Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur. Swamiji has adopted Guru Parampara from Brahma up to Srila Prabhupada. But now some devotees, thinking that we are very high class of devotees, I want to glorify Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj by that we are Srila, uh, not Rupa Nuga, but Prabhupada. This is cutting the feet of their Guru Devon. We should not do. Rupanuga is Guru, Rupanuga bar. Anyone cannot take that place. Hmm? He is Nitya Siddha, not Sadhak Siddha. 
and he is um, certainly the maid servant of Srimati Radhika. He has done Manovhist Purna of So you know about him, Srila Prabhupada. How he gave, established a preaching center at Maya, Mayapur, how he collected so many devotees, and he started a mission, Gaudiya mission, or Gaudiya Math from Mayapur, Akar Math Raj Chaitanya Math. He introduced Ramanuj, the Danda Sanyas. He took himself. Because of that time, Babaji's all luxurious, very what, like nonsense, engaged in lust and everything. Yes. So Prabhupada changed the mood. Because all learning person, qualified person, they used to know that Gaudiya uh, Mahaprabhu followers are stupid nonsense, very lusty. So, he established Akar Matra Chaitanya Mat. He established in nine islands of Navadvip, uh, one one centers. And then he went to Calcutta against the order of his Gurudev and established there preaching center. And he published so many books, all Acharya's books, Ramanuj, Madhva, Vishnu, Swami, Nimbadit, Srimad Bhagavat, Chaitanya, Chaitamrita, all the books in the guidance of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Otherwise, all the books have been gone, ruined. So, he is the main root of preaching in all of her world. He gave initiation to our Gurudev. And he told them, oh, alone he can manage all these things. And really he was so qualified, our Gurudev. Hmm. We know the will of all muts and manage everything. So he also, in India, he preached his mission everywhere, in all pilgrim places, in all important places of India. And even he sent message, messenger like Bhakti Veda, Bhakti Ban Maharaj. And also Bhakti Sharanga Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Pradiptara, first he sent Pradiptara Maharaj. They preached the mission in limited, but Swamiji, he preached his mission unlimited. Why? They used to preach to very high, high persons like uh, through the general, Governor General of India and uh, in England, he, royal families, they never mixed with ordinary. And Swamiji boycott them. And he mixed with hippies and general persons, very simple person, low class of persons, like Nityananda Prabhu. So he mixed from there, and he began to preach, and all used to come join. But to whom Ban Maharaj and others have preached, none joined the movement. But he did miracle by the mercy of his Gurudev. So it is all the glory of Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami. I also know. Gaur Gobind Maharaj. Hmm? Perhaps he went, uh, he, he was searching Gurudev. And it is told that he came first to um, Kesavji Gaudiyamat. But at that time I was not there. And then he came to Pindavan. 
and luckily he met to Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. And at once he was attracted and he accepted him like Guru and he. And he knew that he is very qualified. He was very qualified person. He went to Bhavaneswar by the order of his Gurudev, established a preach, preaching center eh? where snakes and other used to be there. He was very bold, very, very bold. He never cared for any even. He cared, he cared only for bhakti, pure bhakti and pure devotees. He was the same in Siddhant with me. He used to collect my all books and used to read, read them very carefully. Whenever a new books used to come from me and he used to collect and read his life. And also I had so much affection. And once he met me at the time of departure of Srila Prabhupada, but at that time, the prominent his sister, Tamal Krishna Bhavananda and all others, that he has no chance to meet me personally. But after that he met in Puri with me. 1995. 1995. And he was very much pleased then. So, <coughs> I know him. He never cared for anyone. He boldly told, that Prabhu has, Prabhupada has not written that the jivas has come from Golopindavan. He has clearly declared, never cared for all his cone. So all his cone leaders became uh, against him. Not only that, he was so sweet, he speaker of Bhagavatam, sweet pastimes of Krishna, Mahaprabhu, that all used attract with his classes. So all senior devotees of Swamiji began to attract to him and to go to him. Like Siksha Guru, like Diksha Harinam initiation. So they became very worried, his called leaders. And they banned his speaking. They banned on going to Malaysia, ba Malaysia, France, Switzerland. But all used to come to him. In the end, he was banned to speak anything in Mayapur. Then he departed from this world. They wanted to control him. Why? Because if he was speaking, all will hear him and all will be in his guidance. So all were. I know that his disciples are so much and here, they know this fact. And in Mayapur, oh, he becomes so much uh, what? Oppressed. 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 That uh, he thought that uh, I should not be in them. Huh? My bhakti will suffer. And he left their association. They never realized his motive, pure bhakti. They never tell to do bhajana of Radhika. Never. They don't know what is Madhur Rash. And he used to explain all this as I do. So, where there is sweetness and all kinds of siddhant all be attracted. So, he attracted all. So, I think it will be better that some devotees will glorify first to Gaur Govind Maharaj. I know that uh, Prabhu, what name? Oh, he has served him and he has also and he has on his back some stars, uh, some Sorry, of his stick. 
though he used to chastise the, his disciples and to give benediction by mercy by stick, like Abhiram Thakur. But all attracted even. Gokul. Where is Gokul? Have you taken his stick? Never. Many times. Many times. Mathuranath? Where is Mathuranath? You know him? Have you eaten his stick? Oh. <laughs> Mm. Abhiram Thakur used to do like this. Mm. So, first Jagadish Prabhu should uh, glorify him, how he was bold and how he did preaching. Gokul can speak something? Very good. Namo Vishnu Paraya Krishna Prasthaya Pulale Srimati. Go Govinda Swami Chanamane, Namo Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Raj Bhulale, Srimani Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj Chanamane. This one? Shinga. Oh, you should be here. You'll have to something. Sing. So today is a blessed appearance day of Jagat Guru Shilap. Uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Srila Prabhupada eh, tomorrow. But today we're celebrating them and also the disappearance day of my beloved Guru Day Srila Gaur Govinda Swami. But today I'm going Brishman, so I want that uh, um, I should glorify and also. But you should observe oh, tomorrow for Srila Prabhupada and Gaur Govinda So I'll just tell a, a little bit about my blessed Gurudev, for those people who don't know so much about him, uh, my Gurudev appeared in a village in Orissa called Jagannathpur. He appeared in 1929, the 2nd of the September. Especially, prominently, you should tell his teaching. Y yes, I will. Very briefly. Briefly, a little bit. So, <laughs> he was born a week after Jamasnami. Because he we cannot remember what you told his village name, his wife okay. name, his children. <laughs> Not that. We cannot remember. Passport number. Passport number, we cannot remember. <laughs> but I remember his beatings. <laughs> so he appeared in a Vaishnav family. That Vaishnav family was uh, famous in Orissa for doing kirtan since the time of Shamananda Prabhu. Uh, as a boy, he would recite Bhagavatam in Oriya, uh, written on palm leaf. At that time, they had no electricity. And uh, he would spend his time uh, making garlands for, for Gopal, doing 24-hour kirtans with his uncle, and learning all Vaishnav songs of Srila Naratam Das Thakur. Actually, when he was born, an astrologer did his chart and told that this boy has come from Nitya Dham, and he will be a, a very shining sadhu, and he will preach the message at Tanya Mahaprabhu around the world to help the fallen conditioned souls. So in, uh, he led a very pure lifestyle and uh, he was a teacher by trade. He, he was in the same school as Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. But later on he left household life and uh, he went in search of a guru who could give him all the things that he was reading about. So he left home and he finally ended up in Vrindavan and he saw a signboard and he saw Mahaprabhu and Krishna. And he saw the Maha Mantra and he thought, this is what I've always wanted. Mahaprabhu and Krishna's teaching. So he went in there and he met Srila Prabhupada. And the first thing Srila Prabhupada said to him was, have you taken sannyas? And he said, no. And he says, I will give you sannyas. So my Guru Maharaj said, immediately, I fully surrendered to him. So in 1974, on Ram Navami, he accepted the renounced daughter of life. And... Um, some of Srila Prabhupada's prominent disciples were complaining that, oh, he's new, you know, why are you giving him? And he says, no, you are new, he is Vaishnav from birth. So then Srila Prabhupada told him that you should start a center in Jagannath, in Jagannath Puri Dham in Bhuvaneshwara. And so he stayed there in many difficulties. And a temple came up because it was a wish of his divine master Srila Prabhupada. So his preaching was 
that um, Bhagavatam is all in all. And he was saying that in this world there is nothing lacking in this world, but only Krishna consciousness. He used to have three sets of books and they were like his computer. And he could find any verse in those books. Even when he would read the verse of the Bhagavatam was from his notes. And how Srila Prabhupada had wrote only one sloka in the Bhagavatam. He had the whole sloka in there and where it was from. And he gives such uh, information about it that we became intoxicated. He would say Harikata is like Hari Maduri, intoxicating liquor. Many things in his life were very strict. Like one time <coughs> the family members wanted to go to see opera. And he said, you may go, but you can never come back in the house again. So he was very strict in his household life. All his children had to rise early in the morning and attend Mongolati. He had seven children. Then they'd hear the Bhagavatam. Then they'd have to chant, you know, do Tulsi Adi. And he was very uh, strict in his life. He would only eat once a day. And he wouldn't eat until he's done all his transcribing of the Bhagavatam, chanted all his rounds. So sometimes he wouldn't sleep till 1.30 in the morning. And the same thing that we heard from our Guru Dave about Jiva Tattva, Guru Tattva, Nam Tattva, we're hearing from Guru Dave. And as Guru Dave said, his preaching was very bold. I remember one time he was saying that on Nam Tattva they're wrong, on Jiva Tattva they're wrong, on Gora Tattva they're wrong. He said, it's, on Guru Tattva, he says, it's unbearable on our part. He says, you know, we should boldly preach the truth. So he was a bold preacher. And even on Jiva Tattva, they were voting, showing of hands. And he said, what is this? Voting on Siddhanta, I cannot tolerate. <coughs> so many times he would give class and they would ask questions, but they'd have to remain numb when he'd answer, quoting many slokas. He would say, unless you can quote a sloka, you're a cheater and no one will listen to you. And he used to say, oh, he is a cheater. He's not quoting Siddhanta. So we were all attracted because of his purity and because of his simplicity. We, we, we hear from Guru Dave how loving uh, the Guru is. And I remember while I was there, one disciple, he left the ashram. And that day, Guru Dave, he cried and he could not take prasadam. He was very unhappy. So he was so loving to all the disciples. At the airport, when many people would travel with him, he would not only count his bag, he'd count everyone's bag and make sure everyone had prasadam. So we learned also love and affection from him, which is one thing to preach, but to have that personality to go what the scriptures say is, is something different. And we also hear that Guru and Krishna, they're beyond birth and death. They're not forced to take birth. They come here because of their own accord. And um, their bodies are not fat or skinny or blue eyes or black eyes. They're actually very beautiful, spiritual form. And it's said that unless one has transcendental vision, he cannot see the form of the Guru or Krishna. And when one is blessed by the Guru, he can see how the mercy, potency of the Lord is going through his body. So I know there's many people speaking today, so I'll, I'll take a brief. Hare Krishna. Gokul. Namo Vishnu Padai, Krishna Prasad Bhutale, Srimati Gaurav Govinda Swami Sinamani. Namo Vishnu Padai, Radhikai Pramanesh, Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Rangita Namo. Om Gyanti Mananda Syagyan and Janash Laka, Chakshun Militam Jena, Tasma, Sri Gurveda Maha. So today's most aus <coughs> auspicious day of the Druha Titi of my beloved spiritual master, Abhishnapan Srila Gauru Govinda Swami Maharaj. His separation is a very hard thing to bear. Um, and separation from his Harikata, I was reading an article that or it was actually an offering that Sripad <coughs> Ranyamaraj had spoken on 
his appearance day last year. And uh, in there he was recounting so many nice points from my Guru Maja's Qatar just recently and I was realising that the... I don't know if this is a selfish thing, Gurudev, but I miss my Guru Maj, but I miss his Qatar more. Um, his, he started a revolution. Why are you not kidding? He started a revolution. He did this by speaking very boldly, Hari Kata. And everything was contained in there. I was just remembering the last tour in Bali, he was there for seven days and he spoke for 36 hours on Hari Kata. So his Hari Kata was very, uh, very structured. He would begin by explaining very basic topics that we were not even human beings, we were Dua Paripasu, we were animals. And we were not at all qualified to hear Hari Kata, his Hari Kata. And in this way he would grind our egos into small powder first. And after about one hour of grinding, then he would say, so then the topic comes. And then he would enter into topics of bhakti in very sweet and uh, with so much... He would, as Gurudev often says to us, come with me to Vrindavan. My Guru Maj would take us to Jagannath Puri with Mahaprabhu. And in his katha we would see we would see in our hearts all of that Leela. Mm. So, <coughs> mm. he travelled here and there and one of the things that Aranyamaj was saying in his article that really uh, is one with my heart is that he extracted everything he was like a magnet for everything good in ISKCON, in the, in the work that Srila Swami Maharaj has done. When I look around me, I see I'm never missing him because I'm seeing his mercy everywhere here. He's poured buckets of mercy with our uh, Bhakti Sa Maharaj, Aranya Maharaj, Ashram Maharaj. They've all come from his mercy. And Gurudev has gone around and collected these things up. Our Gurudev Shilonaramaj. I remember I was with Gurudev in, in Los Angeles in 1996. One of my godbrothers ran.